Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is SV and we are playing Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out DLC. In the last episode we did a few things including getting this space opened up for our duplicates to action and, and get set up. And incorporated as part of our base which is fantastic. Then in addition to that, we set up a little reservoir here for our nuclear waste problem that just keeps popping up somehow I don't need that that mopped but it's got to have something to do with this there's nothing else that would be causing it so uh, once we get through that scientist science and get rid of that we should be free of nuclear waste issues we also started our next big dig or queued it up. It's not a 911 right now, but we'll get there eventually. Got a new duplicate. We're going to do pinch pepper seed because I do not want to accept any additional right now. We're doing okay on support. Uh, there's, It's not like we're running low on duplicate help, so it's okay so far. I kind of want this to... I don't want... Let's do a priority seven. Let's knock this out today. Let's get the top of the base completely clear of space. And then we'll start working our way down. Uh, in addition, I want to do like a relatively low sweep command here to clean up some of the excess that we've been dealing with um, while while uh, cleaning this section up. I think I set that up priority four. So there's some additional ones there we want to add. And yeah, they could tackle that when they got that. Um, like I mentioned before, we've got our little pool here for nuclear waste. It's minimal in the in the rads, 10 rads per cycle, but we don't have a giant pool of it yet. And that might um, be a bigger problem once, once we do. I'm thinking we could get it into some storage containers and maybe that actually will. Um, help us maybe tuck that away to some part of the map and then surround it with some crops and have those crops get mutated and we can start researching more efficient crops. Because I know that that's a thing in this update. We have this set to priority seven. Ooh, I really want these shovels to die, but I also want to harvest them. I wonder if it's, well, I have an idea on how we're going to harvest them, so bear with me on that. And then, actually, I have, I have another idea for something to help with that harvesting. It's under utilities. Not automation. No. Shipping, RoboMiner. We are going to harvest shovels for me, for sure. I just need to figure out a good way to make this happen. And then also, how cold is this stuff? It's pretty cold. How cold are these materials? Negative 63. At what temperature does water freeze? Okay. Well above that. I have an idea on how we're going to sweep all this crap up. 
Um, yeah. And I think we're going to start the construction of the system up here also. So in the end, I want everything to basically fall onto this square. Okay, so let's just put a square there. Let's put two there. And, and I'm going to put an automatic dispenser there. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to do an auto sweeper. That's exactly in range of that. And then I'm going to put another one of these here. And then I'll put an auto sweeper. That's exactly in range of that. And then this one will be just outside of it. And are you kind of getting the idea of what's about to happen here? So there's a ton of material obviously sitting right here. Okay. So we're going to do this all the way to the edge. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now what we need is a conductive wire for all of these. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to do a temporary solution as we always do of that and a battery. And we're going to get an automation wire. And we need conductive wire like so. And then the intent here let's see if we can get this built. The intent here is that once these are built, this is going to be Okay, here's how this works. So the auto sweeper sweeps its area and dumps into here. This one sweeps its area and dumps into this because it's only in view in reach of this one, but not directly in reach of that one. And it's so far and basically it goes all the way down the line. So <clears throat> we're gonna do sweep only everything. And then the intent is Everything is going to get swept, dumped in its area into one of these. This one will sweep its area and into here, but it's also going to capture everything that falls out of this one and so on down the line until <coughs> it reaches the send piece. And at that point, we just des we destroy the entire line and then we have a giant pile of objects on this very last Um, auto dispenser output right here. And that's really all it takes. So that's exactly what we're going to try to put together right now. And let's bump this priority up. I mean, seven is pretty high. They were already tackling it as a ASAP thing, but this would be a, an additional way to get that. Man, they're tackling it no problem. Ooh, sparkle streakers. It's been a while since we've seen a dupe with additional bonuses. They should be able to pick up the things down below here as well.
can't remember if it's sweep only that you want on this. We're going to find out here soon. I think that's correct. Or it could just be open. Which in itself could be a dangerous thing. And then what you could do is just have one or two auto sweepers that load these onto conveyor rails back to base later if you want. Having them all in one location should somewhat normalize the temperature, but it's going to take a long time as there'll be a lot of materials there that potentially could be offsetting with some pretty hard variants. It could be hot and cold and what have you. Power's not built yet. Copper ore. I say we should have plenty of materials for this. And again, we're just going to destroy it at some point. Or like once this is done, it's going away. How much did these take? I wish here it told you how much they, how much power they draw. Let's say it's 120. Yeah, 120 watts. So theoretically, we, we could only run five of these at a time. So we're going to get some brownouts. Or overloading on the wire, but at some point it'll normalize. It's not a 911. And we'll do the same over here eventually. Once we conclude this dig which we're getting very close on. Very, very close on. Let's check our printing pod. I don't like any of them. Thank you very much. Let's go back to two. Same as always. 95, 5, 95, 5, let's make this a priority 7 so it'll get some coal and get some of this process working, like this one could start working immediately. And yeah, the intent is that, why are you walking around without a mask out here? Okay, why are they walking around without without Atmo suits? What is happening? Where are your Atmo suits? Were they just repaired and then never dropped off? Like, what's happening here? What do you mean no docks available? Okay, let's add a couple more. Let's see what the F is going on here. Okay, I want to be on gas pipes now. Thank you very much. So we'll do a few additional docks and let's see. Okay, so this is not sweep only. It needs to be anything. Got it. So you can see this, this one is just throwing stuff in here and that's just dropping it on the ground right there. And that's the whole point. It's all going to end up on this last tile. And we won't be able to delete this first one 
until basically everything before it has been complete. It's going to go in a line. And yeah, this helps us not use duplicates to consolidate materials. And it'll just automatically in a line sweep up this entire row. And then we're going to cause another version of this when we start digging down further. But all of the crap that's up here is going to get nicely placed into uh, one single tile. And like I said, we could have an auto sweeper up here that basically puts it all down into our central storage area if we want to later. When I said all, is what? oh, that's, these are, okay. Oh, and yes, these actually need to be on real materials. I forgot about that part. Okay. And this will get it moving. So, yeah, this is a water weed. It's actually not dug up, and that's why that's a problem, but it's okay. We can leave it as, as it is. And this one will start working on that immediately. This one will start working there. Easy. And as you can see, like some of them are running out of power, but that's like we expected because the draw here is higher than what the generator is producing. We could add a second generator here. And then that will will absolutely help with getting this accomplished faster. We'll copy the settings here to here. And you can see they're just moving it across the assembly line. So stuff over here gets dumped onto this tile, which this one can pick up and then get it over to there. We don't have any gold. Should we make some more gold? 20, and then we'll do, no, not forever, 20, thank you. Our one fridge is completely full, the other fridge is almost full. But yeah, this is a nice way to do a system that allows you to um, basically super quickly sweep up an area that allows you to not utilize duplicate work for. Like these two fir first two sections, already good. Digging, let's inc I want to get that open, and this open, and that open. So we can get those materials out of there also, ASAP. And this one I think is having a hard time, yep. So like, let's make this a priority now because it it's not able to, this one's not able to reach that because this is in the way. Okay, so now we can continue to move things along. You could also use sweepy docks for this, but that takes substantially longer. I think it's less power though, so trade-offs. But um, for some reason, our duplicates are once again just like not wanting to wear suits. I don't know where the F their suits are. Oh, are they walking out of this door? 
Yeah, that's probably what's happening. We're going to lock this door. Yeah. And everybody can come back in. It's just only some people can go out. Okay, that's probably what it was. And let's set these a little bit higher because... Yep. I love that. I love seeing all of these materials being like, boom, starting to kick off. So with the two generators, all of these could work at once. You don't have to power the automatic dispensers because they are, um, they work without it. It's, I, I don't know what, I don't know, why would you power them ever? I don't know what it does different to power them. Yeah, we're moving things along rather nicely super easily getting them all onto one tile and we'll do the same thing on this side as soon as uh, this has been cored out and ready to go and then we'll have the top done how's our bottom coming up it's you know since we set such high priorities up on top i understand why the bottom hasn't really been touched much We'll, I think we're actually going to do like uh, duplicate power for the bottom. And we could do some version of this as well if we really wanted to, but. In some respects, it's not bad for you to use duplicate power. They get, um, they learn skills that way. Okay, so look, we've exhausted all of this over here so let's where's the power end here and then this one will pick up the remnants of this and dump it into here and then we just kind of pass that along the line why is that not picking that up Aren't you picking these materials up, my friend? Oh, it's, oh, why was that set to sweep only? Just copy these settings. Okay, dig this out ASAP. Good, so you can get out of there. Good job. Here, choose a blueprint, mirth seeds, shift two to come back up here. The game is uh, struggling with the amount of things we got going on. But not too bad. Look how much faster this method is. It's so fast to sweep up an entire section like this. This is uh, 911. Oh, I really want to just kill all of those shovels. But we are going to save them. Makes me think like... I don't know where I want to put it, but... I don't know, maybe up here. I'm going to try something really quick. Um, not bun bunker tiles, and definitely not that. So... So 
So this is kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. And then I want uh, food. I want a critter drop off right here. And then I want Uh, no, what do I want? Shipping? A Robo Miner right there. And then for now, we're just going to connect it like so. But I'm done with these shovels. Let's frickin' go. Wait, I have an idea here. Let's automatically raise the wire like that to help with when we install this setup over on this side. Build this and let's get those effing shovels done. I don't know if this robo, robo miner is going to be able to reach up here when this is complete. But we'll find out. Yeah, so now we're basically just passing things from over here across the line. Maybe it's shovels can't go through two metal walls thick stuff. I can't remember. Ugh. This kind of stuff, like, man, shovels are the most annoying. Look how annoying that is. It's an entombed building now. Smith's one shovel vomited on that spot, and now here we are. Oh, my effing... Dude. Not even that one. Just... Dig. Priority 9. Oh, Nisbet. Oh, yeah. Anytime now you want to actually, like, go and get the F out of here. Yep, and we're going to do... Alright, priority immediate. Clean it up, thank you. This became solid nuclear waste. That is interesting. We've got additional nuclear waste there. Not even started on this. All of this water is what? Breaking in the pipes? What's breaking here? It must be the pipe. Why though? Because it's so cold? How is this not been finished yet? Like what? And that's why it was breaking because it's sitting there just freezing. So clearly, like once you have stagnant water, it'll freeze the pipes. If it's moving, you're good. Maybe we can get this thing built sooner rather than later. Did this get built? Oh, it's almost done. It's actually kind of impressive that that's almost done. I 
and this is like this is a pretty high priority priority seven and it's not complete yet strange that well I guess this might be priority seven also yeah <laughs> okay that makes slightly more sense Oh yeah, we've got basically this entire row cleaned out. You know how long that would have taken with duplicates? Thank you for the quick resolution to that. We could start working on solar panels. We need oil stuff happening it's that's not dug out yet after this video i might take the pup out for a walk and just let this run and hopefully no one dies so i'm really worried in this area because as we have seen uh, duplicates are super dumb But we're almost clear of that spot and then after that it's it's honestly like pretty smooth sailing yeah, look how many of these are are finished quote unquote as carbon dioxide like um solid carbon dioxide because it's so cold up here but we're venting a bunch of gas into space, which is fantastic because it's all this polluted oxygen, all of this crap that we don't want anyway. We could filter it, but it's not necessary. As we have a Rodriguez that's supporting almost twice the amount of duplicates we actually have. Ooh, I'm looking forward to getting this top biome done. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty right there. And this is all complete sorting. That, how many cycles did that take? Like five? No time at all, right? Freaking awesome. I think this is taking so long because it's all lead. And that lead is coming all the way from the bottom. We could send all the really hot stuff down into here. It'll cool down real fast. Rotten barbecue. Duplicants, get your shit together. What are you what are you eating? That barbecue is like not your priority. Yeah, okay. I mean you've got the appropriate stuff, so you should be eating it. Do I not have eggshells on this? Uh, what is that? A manufactured material? No. Miscellaneous or organic? Probably. Okay, yeah. So, as I suspected, this is not going to work in the location it's in. I might stick it on this side. Up against. A wall like so. 
Or I maybe expand this wall out. One tile. And then I put a Robo Miner here. Like so. And hopefully it catches anything that they spill on top and... Actually, I should probably put one on the other side as well. You know, they don't need mm. Actually, there's there's some rhyme or reason to additional space. My my initial thought was like they don't need this much space, but I would rather them puke up here than like right here because then if they burrow into it and Robo Miner gets some then they fall through. Like yeah, I, yeah, hmm. I don't know, what a, what a fun problem to solve. This has not been deconstructed yet. Let's, let's get that priority nine so that this can clean everything up all the way down the line and then we can do the next one, the next one. That is the downside of, of doing it this way. You have to, yeah, see? Well, yeah, I did that kind of backwards also, but. Yeah, because this won't be able to clean up after itself here now. But. Yeah, some of it will get picked up, and, we, and then we just use dupes for the rest of it. Actually, let's just use dupes for the for the rest of it. And then let's just make that a priority nine, so they get rid of that now, and then we'll do a priority nine sweep on that. I love that the wire just goes like in one pop. And a priority nine sweep. And that will basically do it. Did we dig this out? Oh, so close. We'll end the video on this being dug out. Let's actually maybe just make it a priority eight to get this complete now. And that'll be a fun way to, to end this video with our space section completely dug out. Okay, I was going to say you are not stuck. Do not mess around and say that you're stuck. Priority 8. And we'll uh, figure out like what to do with some of this stuff. I might just stick like all radioactive materials up at the top here. We got plenty of radiation up here anyway, so what does it matter, right? A little bit more. Can't really hurt. Oh, 
auto. That's our best digger. They have the ability to dig out radiation stuff. No one else does right now. Oh, so close. Rose two. We're uh, oh, that's right, because we're doing a priority nine over here. So we're, we've got some resources tied up in that move, but. Not too bad right now. Music stopped for some reason. That's not fun, you know? Yeah, we'll stop it. And we're over on time on this one. I, I completely get it. But I want to knock this out in this video. And then in the next one, what I'm going to do is... Um, We'll focus on, obviously, oil down below because that's almost done. And then we will focus on getting this swept up and expanding and then also getting shovels um, working. This is being swept, so we've got some things for our dupes to do. I do want to uh, say, so I think I'm going to let this run a little bit while I take the pup out for a walk here in a second because he um, definitely is showcasing that he's feeling a little ignored which is sad so um we'll, we'll take i'll take him out for a nice little long walk um try to get some of his energy out although he is sleeping right now but that's i think only because out of he's out of boredom um which again unfortunate so i feel bad and that's why we're gonna go out for a little walk around the neighborhood Look at that. This is almost all cleaned up. We've got one random piece right here. So dupes cleaned that up pretty quick, but see how much faster the auto sweepers were? When we did it that way. Like that is absolutely the way to do it. Um, I know that when I go for the walk the pup won't get or the dupes won't get bored because they have basically half the map to drill out. Look at this. Well, uh, what is that? One seventh, one eighth of the map? Something in that vein, maybe? Ooh, two, three ladder pieces. And we have this section complete. And here we go. What a milestone moment. Oh, really? Really? Who's bringing this? Nisbet. We love Nisbet. And that, my friends, is the space section completely cored out. Looking fantastic. We're going to leave it there also while our dupes work on this and all of the other little errands that we've tasked them with. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more Oxygen Not Included and Satisfactory videos. Um, I've got a series on Rift Breaker going on as well, which is super exciting. So um, don't forget to, to tune in there as well and uh, check out that series as I'm actually having a better time with it this time than I did when I played it solo. So, um, hope you're enjoying it. And let me know in the comments section below if there's something that I could be working on a little bit differently. We're going to definitely tackle um, getting these shovels in a space that allows them not to get out. That's the whole point. We want to make sure that they don't get out. And I think we're going to double wall this. That might help. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next one.